Hi everyone, I'm Josephine from Voon Technology. In this video, I will be showing you how you can generate your very own business card with QR code using Power Apps. No premium licenses required. In this app, we need two connectors, the Office 365 Users Connector to get user information from the Active Directory and the SharePoint Connector to store historical information. On the first screen, I have a list of information which I want to populate into my business card as text input controls. There are two reset buttons, one for resetting the information to the active directory information and the other for resetting the information to what the user last generated. There is also a radio button control to toggle between generating your own business card and a business card of someone else in your organization. At the on start property of the app, we saved the logged in users and used our Office 365 connector to get the user's information and check for any historical record. I do this because the start screen property will navigate the user directly to the business card screen. The user doesn't have to fill up all this information again and has direct access to the business card using historical information. On the on visible property of the screen, we look up the historical logs in SharePoint to determine if the user has generated for themselves and for others and save it in variables. We do this by doing a look up on the SharePoint list where the user's email is present. But wait, others might generate my card. So I have to also check if it was created by the current user. We do the same for the others selection from the combo box. This will be covered later. I have an additional step to use the other person's ID to get the user principal name. Sometimes the user principal name is not the other user's email address. We grab the other user's email address using the Office 365 connector. This part is a bonus where we collect the relevant people of the current user into a collection for our drop-down for other users. The relevant people are people in the organization which the current user interacts with the most. For example, through Teams or email exchanges. If your organization doesn't have clean data, you can consider removing users without a mail. In the drop-down, we display the collection of our relevant people or we allow users to search through the directory using the Office 365 search users activity. Do ensure you have a variable that identifies if you clicked on the combo box because we are going to leverage the on change property and combo boxes have a tendency to reset itself. On the on change property, we store the selected user's data into the variable other user and check for historical logs. All the text input controls will be resetted to reflect the selected user's data. Going into a text input box in the default property, we first identify if it is for self or for others. We then identify if there is historical logs to be used or if we should use the user's info from Active Directory. Here, you can see the different toggles in action. You can edit the text input boxes if there are any information that needs to be changed. I'm going to change my English name to my Chinese name. Click Generate to populate my business card. The Generate button patches this data into my SharePoint list and navigates into the Business Card screen. On the Business Card screen, there are four main controls. A transparent button which covers the screen to allow users to head back to the information screen. Two images, company logo and QR code. HTML text which houses the information. I have three API methods to generate a QR code for free. Quick Chart, Image Charts, and Google Chart. I recommend Quick Chart because we can do the most customization on the QR. 
the global standards on how to create virtual contact cards, or VCard for short, is as follows. In the Power App, we will be using the latest version, 4.0. Do take note that we need to URL encode our text so that special characters can be passed in the API URL. Percent %0a is a line feed or what we commonly know as a line break or next line. We have full name, name with first name and last name, semicolon separated, organization with company and department name, address of type work which includes the office location or street, the postal code, city and country, semicolon separated. Telephone of type cell as mobile number. Telephone of type work as telephone number. URL is your website or socials. Email of type work. You can format the dark areas, the squares of the QR, and the light areas, the space around the squares with hex colors. Same logic for image charts where ICQRB is background, the spaces, and ICQRF is foreground, the squares. There is no possibility of color customization for Google Chart API, which is deprecated. In the HTML text control, we include the style with transform to rotate the text 90 degrees so as to have it lengthwise like a normal business card. I've sprinkled some formatting and emojis to bring out the information on the card. You can also include HTML tables to ensure line breaks are included so as to retain formatting. It's that simple to implement. For easy access to your contact card, just take a screenshot and keep it as your lock screen or wallpaper. As usual, if you would like a copy of the Power App, head over to www.voontechnology.com and drop a request or email to info at voontechnology.com. Voon Technology does power apps consultancy, development and support at an affordable rate, price beat guaranteed. Drop us a DM for a non-obligatory discussion. Thank you and see you in the next video.